it's your girl T here back with the Sunday video yes I'm wearing the same sweater as another video because I'm filming multiple videos our affirmation of the day is I can have as many desires as I want I can have as many desires as I want we're tea timers we can get everything and anything we want at one time so I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about something that I have encountered on my journey that has really helped me and I know it'll help you too and that is when we're manifesting sometimes we're so focused on our manifestation and looking for the outcome that we forget that there's life going on around us in a good way not in a bad way not noticing circumstances and things like that but forgetting to take in all the goodness and the abundance that we already hold on to around us so while we're manifesting we don't always have to be 24 seven focused on the outcome of our manifestation. We just live in it. We soak it in, we breathe it. We are abundant. We are married. We are chosen. We are loved. And while that's going on, we can lift up some of the people around us. Doing good things for others is a really good way to get into the state of abundance and kindness and sincerity and gratitude. Because when you help a, when you help someone else, whether it be you know, taking their groceries inside for them, checking on a friend that's ill, doing something nice or kind that helps somebody else who's not doing as well as you, or even not even that, just maybe just giving someone a nice compliment. It gives you a rush of serotonin because you are doing something nice for another human being, and that is living in a state of abundance. You have enough and then some, and you're giving it back to the people around you. As an example, when my girlfriends are struggling, I will either lead them to a resource that can help their current circumstance, I will do something nice for them, or even just when they're down on themselves, just reversing the order of their words to make it conducive to what I think of them. What do I mean? Let's say one of my friends is saying, I was so stupid. I'm like, you're not stupid, you're learning. You're learning and you did the best you can in that circumstance. So therefore you were the best you could be at that time and you're forever evolving so you're never stupid you're just learning and as you learn you grow just little things like that throughout the day also put you into alignment with the person that you're choosing to be which is the best version of yourself and that that doesn't just include things going well for yourself. You want the people around you that you love and care for to do well as well. What's the first thing people do when they get successful besides take care of their own needs? They reach out to other people who they love and care for. They buy houses for their family. They do nice trips for their friends. They buy gifts for people that, they, that have made impact in their lives. I'm not saying that you need a boatload of money to help everybody around you, but you're also living in the state of wish fulfilled. So as doing that, if you had every need possible met already, you would be extending your kindness to other people. And we don't need to, in reality, in the 3D reality, actually be there before we can share the abundance that we currently sit with with other people. And if you're asking yourself, how am I abundant right now? I don't have everything I want. A, you're not living in the end. And B, you always have more of something than other than another person has, whether it be uh, health, an abundance of water, an abundance of resources, an abundance of knowledge. You always have something that you can share with everybody around you to help them lift up as well. So while we're on our journeys, don't forget to also spread your love and kindness around you because it creates a vortex of love and abundance around you, of caring and of goodwill around you and that makes it easier on your journey to go forward into the place that you already are living in the end of so what do I mean by that like that makes it easier for your 3d to catch up because you're showing your subconscious that no matter where you are in your journey you're always whole and complete and able to share that with the people around you if you have questions about what I'm saying you know what to do and I love y'all but not as much as you should be loving yourselves and everyone around you. Have a beautiful, blessed Sunday. Bye!